Greetings folks. In this video I'm going to be looking at the Secure MSS12 Pro soldering station. This is the latest uh, intelligent temperature controlled soldering iron soldering station from Secure. Uh, I like all of the Secure soldering irons that I've, I've reviewed. Uh, I still use all of them basically. Uh, they're such great little implements, essential little tools for the RC modeler. It comes in this lovely little carbon fibre uh, textured carry case. Here's the uh, power unit or the soldering station part of it, I guess. Usual little resting pad for the handle. A uh, little instruction manual there. Here's the handle. It is aluminium body uh, and the tips slip in the end there like that. Uh, one thing I have to say, the, the, uh, the cable, the power cable is really nice and flexible, soft um, silicon, I guess, uh, with a nice sturdy connection plug. This is the EU4 tip version, so we're getting an EU style plug, which unfortunately is no use to me, unless I get an adapter. Unfortunately, they don't have an Australian plug, so I won't actually be using that. Uh, and we get four tips. Four tips we get are the B2, the BC2, the ILS and the K tips, which is a really good variety, really nice fine point there, sort of a chisel tip there, a thicker point there, and a nice knife edge there. To fit the tip into the end, it's a simple matter of undoing the screw and pushing it all the way in. If you don't push that in far enough, uh, it will give you a warning when you fire it up, which is a very nice feature screw it down tight there and we're pretty ready to go and we also plug it in to the soldering station unit there and that is all connected ready to go so on the front we have the tip connection uh, lcd screen or oled screen whatever it is uh, and the selection dial there that's a, di a dial and a push button USB-C here for firmware updates. On the back we have the AC power, uh, 100 to 240 volts AC, and an on-off switch for the AC. XT60 here for LiPo or DC connection, 3S to 6S, extra grounding if needed. And that's about it. So uh, what else can we show you? little manual here. Uh, I'll go in closer and have a look at the manual. Uh, that, that print is just way too small for me to read with any glasses that I've got. So let's go in closer and uh, have a, a detailed look. You can pause the video and have a, a decent look at the manual, but I'll just sort of show you what's available there. Intelligent Soldering Station Instruction Manual. You can pause the video if you want to, so uh, have a better look at the instruction manual. Uh, going on to the next section there. I'll go in closer on these uh, uh, menu items. So here's some of the main interface menu items there. We have uh, stop mode, work mode and sleep mode. Uh, tip warning. I did get a tip warning the first time I popped the tip in because I hadn't pushed it in far enough. So that, that was a good little um, indication. High voltage temperature, high temperature, low voltage when your battery is getting low, I suppose. Uh, high PCD, B temperature. So I'll power it up with my little power supply here. I'm just going to plug that in, run it on say 16 volts or 4S equivalent. Turn the power supply on. So on the screen, we have multicolor screen and you can adjust all of these colors too in the, in the menu. We've got stop start, working temperature, current temperature, input voltage and sort of the power progress bar. If we push the button, it will start heating up now and quickly heat up to the working temperature. At the moment, it's set to 310 degrees. Just do this in real time to show you how quickly it heats up. There we go, ready to start soldering. 
Just by dialing the, the dial here, you can change the working temperature. It's down to 270, now we're up to maximum of 450 degrees. I'll leave it at 300, I think. That's all I need for most of my work. Occasionally go up to 350 for heavier wires. And stop it again. So if you push and hold, we get into the menu. I've just reduced the exposure a bit so we can actually see what's on the screen. So we have iron, idle, LCD, volt, calibration, and about. If we go into iron, we get... I wonder if you can see that. It might be a bit hard, but uh, it'll... It's all the stuff that uh, was in the um, uh, instruction manual anyway. Temperature compensation, buzzer, temperature unit from uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit, working temperature. Lots and lots of choices there. Press and hold to back out. Idle, where you can uh, set all the sleep times and the sensitivity to going to sleep. All the same stuff that's available in the other little handheld uh, DC soldering irons from Secure. Brightness, this is all LCD stuff now. Brightness, direction, colors. You can change all the colors on the screen if you want to. Go to town, volt, uh, set low voltage and uh, volt, power volt, what's that one? Can't tell you at the moment. That will have been in the instruction manual. Calibration, you can calibrate the temperature if you want to too. Not something I've ever felt I needed to. And uh, the about tells you the uh, firmware version. And back out again, and we're back to the normal screen. Great stuff. So that is a very nice addition to the range from Secure of their wonderful little intelligent temperature controlled soldering irons and soldering stations. I think this one is gonna be permanently on my desktop now. A very useful little tool for the RC modeler. Thanks for watching and happy soldering.